What's up my party people? It's your boy Kenneth G coming to you with the Stanley Parable. This is a sick game and uh, it's totally according to your choice. You listen to the narrator, you don't listen to the narrator the first time through. We may just listen to him. So uh, yeah, let's begin the game. Boom. And uh, when I tested this game last time, the loading screen took forever. So if it does, I'll just skip right, right to the game for us to enjoy. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley, you're the man. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427? Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders a, came to him through a monitor at his desk. What a great Tell life. Him what buttons to push. What how a long job. To push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. Great. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Yay! The happiness of Stanley! And then one day, something very peculiar happened. What? Something that would forever change Stanley. No way! Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. That's crazy! No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. <laughs> Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Did he not But notice? as he came to his wits no and regained was there? his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. What can I do? Uh... I can't do anything. Oh, oh, wait, I can crouch. That's about it. Let's get out of here, huh? Wait, wait! I hate Mondays! I hate them! <laughs> Who doesn't? Who, who loves Mondays, honestly? All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe it's the next Ice Age. I don't know. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. Is that an I achievement? can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. I would say that's the kind of effort <laughs> that warrants recognition. I'm clicking it a bunch of times. Hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction <laughs> of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes. Almost certainly, 50 clicks. I'm not... I don't want to click this 50 times. <laughs> Why am I... I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I give up. Where is everybody? Hello? 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 Can I do anything here? <laughs> All I can do is crouch. What's here? I shut the computer up. What the hell? Where is everybody? Is it the next Ice Age? Did a meteor hit and this building is the only one that exists? But 20, they're blazing it up in there. Where's the. See all the smoke rolling out of the door? Nah, you don't. There's no smoke. They're really good at hiding it. Oh, I'm on the desk. Dancing. I'm dancing on the desk. Whee! Okay. Oh! Hey! Hey! Hello? What's going on in here? Why am I the only one? Why is this plant so awesome? It's so awesome! Okay... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright. This video, we're gonna do everything he says. Just for the hell of it. Alright? It gets funny when you go against what he does. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Get Chris out of the broom closet! There. Chris is in the broom closet. Get him out! God! Is he stuck in there? I just saw a dispute with a co-worker. Let it bar you up inside. What the fuck? Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay, make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all it. What the fuck? Everyone is unique. You most of all. Who is changing the slides? <laughs> Number of slides on this slide. Slides. Charge. Charge the slides. Fuck this. <laughs> Forget it. I'm out of here. Broom closet. Hey. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, <laughs> so he turned around and got back on track. No, I didn't. No, I didn't! I'm shutting myself in the broom closet. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, <laughs> just an empty broom closet. It's not no empty. No reason to still be here. It's not empty. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here to play with. If this was a crafting game, I could craft a super weapon. It was baffling that Stanley weapon. was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Yay. As it is, he's literally just standing there okay. doing a sweet F.A. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's nah. office. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. All right, all right, all right. You got me. We'll go it. I said I was gonna listen to him this video. Next time, we're gonna be disobedient little assholes. Where's the boss's office, huh? Oh, hey, I'm. I could be the secretary. Come on. Oh, the secretary's secretary goes under the desk. <laughs> You get it? <laughs> Nothing to be clicked. Alright. This is the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Why? Shocked, Why? unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have Let's known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. I wonder what it is. Two, eight, four, five. Two, but of course, eight, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random Yay! buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to oh, input shit. the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Ooh. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Ooh. A newly opened passageway. And finally, a game that... I can record at 60 FPS. Yes! What's in this dark corner? Nothing. Outstanding. Stanley, you're a fucking scholar. Down! Let's go! Down, 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 down. Loading again. Screw the loading screen. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Ah. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, Blah. to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Well, This question would not go unanswered for long. Dun dun dun! Crouch, crouch, crouch! Um. Stanley walked straight ahead to the mind control that read Mind Control Facility. Ooh, or escape. I could escape. Huh? Maybe? No? Maybe I could escape? No! We're gonna go! What is this? Malarkey! Oh man. This is nuts. Buttons! I like buttons! Push! The lights rose Woo! on an enormous room packed with television Holy screens. Shit, what what this horrible the secret did this matrix? place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I guess we're gonna find out. 
Yeah, because I am the all-powerful Stanley. A oh, button, button pressing. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of Whoa. an employee in the building. Stanley's Holy shit nuggets. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place wow. where freedom meant nothing. They're all mind controlled to be zombies of the workforce of today. Damn it. Break free, I say break free. Like me, 427, this where am I at? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe right it couldn't be true. Woo. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this My time? office. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. Freaking ridiculous. Elevator time. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't <laughs> it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. Holy shit, Nuggets. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once Whoa. and for all. I am. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to destroy this place. It is the epitome of all that's evil. <laughs> I'm Stanley the Great. They will revel in my awesomeness for the eternity of all human existence. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Yeah, I'll give you some freaking input, buddy. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Off. I am now blind. <laughs> what is that? What is it? I can't see. I can see a crack of light. Blackness. I can't go toward it. And a rising it. chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I don't know. Whoa! He had won. He had defeated the machine. Yay! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. <laughs> Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I don't know. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever it's so life beautiful. he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I'm running! I'm running! Yay! Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. <laughs> the immense possibility of the new path before him. Yay! This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Stanley, you're a boss and ass Stanley bitch. Was happy. Is he really happy? Is he really? It looked like a beautiful place. What's going on? It's loading something else. Ah! I'm back! Why am I back? <laughs> Oh, 
Dude. Hello? Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, my party peeps. We will resume this game next time and see what other choices that we can make because obviously there's a bunch and this game is yet to unfold all its secrets and there's little secret things you can do inside the game. Uh, obviously, it's, it'll be super fun to disobey the narrator's sayings and what he's trying to get you to do. So, uh, yeah, we'll unfold a lot of this other stuff in the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed the Stanley Parable right now. If you did, headbutt that like button, grab a homie, subscribe for him and for yourself. And I want to thank you for diving through those internet cables to see me, KenFG. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> Much love. Oh! Ah, ha, 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 ha